godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is how we know what love is, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies they will cease, where there are tongues they will be stilled, where there is knowledge it will pass away. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon son of John, Do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again Jesus said, Simon son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. And now these three remain faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. These people are blemishes at your love feasts, eating with you without the slightest qualm, shepherds who feed only themselves. They are clouds without rain, blown along by the wind, autumn trees, without fruit and uprooted, twice dead. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. But I tell you love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you. We love because he first loved us.